Hello everybody. Uh, today is January the 27th, 2011. Uh, tomorrow will mark 25 years since the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded. Um, what were you doing? Do you remember what you were doing on that day? And I know a lot of people now that weren't even born when that happened. So, uh, But I remember it clearly. I remember it very clearly. And it was cold and school was called off and it was snowing in Virginia that day. And I remember I was watching it on TV as, as it took off, and, and I saw it when it exploded, so I saw it. Um, and again, on February the 1st of 2003 is when the Space Shuttle Columbia exploded. And uh, I happened to be off from work that day, and once again, I was watching that. It exploded when it was coming back to Earth. Um, and I was in the bedroom watching TV that morning, and it was while I was watching the clear blue sky, you know. And then uh, they was talking about it coming back in, and then I saw the plumes of smoke, just like I did with the Challenger. And I remember jumping up and hollering, you know, oh my God, it's happened again. And so that was a little eerie. And just, you know, basically three days, the anniversary date is like three days apart from each other. But anyway. That's not what I want to talk about. Um, Dave was talking on the news about uh, teachers grading the parents. Uh, they want to start having teachers grade parents. And they want to know how you felt about this. I think it's wrong. I just, I think it's wrong. And they even had uh, uh, one teacher say that it's not going to work. It's going to backfire. And she said, believe me, I know. That's what she said. She said, I know what works and what don't. She said, parents are going to rebel, and this is just not going to work. And so they want to grade the parents' activities with the child. Now, what's going to happen when you have this child that's got low self-esteem and their parents truly don't want to interact with school, and not only are they going to get a low grade, but their parents are going to get a low grade on the report card too. Then they're going to think to themselves, why bother? Why try? You know, that, that is going to cause some problems. It's going to cause a lot of problems. And another thing, parents do not like to be told what to do. The teachers are there to teach the children, not the parents, the children. So, and then in another survey, now I would love to know who does these surveys that I'm getting ready to talk about. That is such a waste of taxpayer money. And I'll bet you the people that do these surveys, uh, surveys make more than you and I put together. I bet you they do. They did a survey that said uh, students, these are, are, I think, high school students, whose names begin with A or B tend to make A's and B's. Students whose names begin with C or D tend to make C's or below because the children whose names begin with C or D tend to care less about their grades. Who thought up that survey? Where is taxpayer money going to? That makes no sense to me. Then they said they put... Uh, they did another survey, and they put a hundred men in a room with an attractive woman and had the attractive woman give a speech. And at the end of the speech, they tested the men, and that the majority of the men failed because they could not remember what the woman had said. So then they took a hundred men, they put them in a room with a non-attractive woman and had that woman give the same speech, and the majority of the men passed because they remembered what she said. Who gives a damn? Why even do the survey? It makes no sense. It's ridiculous. It just makes no sense. And um, also in the news they're talking about, as far as the school system goes, they want to know, um, should they do away with teaching children how to write cursive writing? I think so. It's, in this day and time, it's useless. The only thing you're ever going to use cursive writing for is to sign your name. And if you, the only time you're going to have to sign your name is really as an adult. 
And if you can't teach yourself cursive writing by the time you're an adult, then, then you got major problems to begin with. I say do away with it in the classroom. Spend more time in the classroom studying about something else uh, instead of cursive writing. Because really, in classrooms now, you've got computers. You, you basically, you're just typing everything. So you may as well just, just do away with the cursive writing. Just forget it. Do away with it. Because by the time people graduate, everything is going to be computerized, and they're going to do everything computerized anyway. Basically, half the time you don't even have to sign your name, really, if you do everything online. So, cursive teaching, cursive writing, is basically a waste of time. But anyway, uh, oh, and another thing, and I don't remember where this is at. I'm not sure where this is at, but there's a lawmaker in that city. I believe it might be in New York, but don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. A lawmaker in that city wants to make it illegal for you to cross the street and talk on the cell phone at the same time. And you will be ticketed if you are caught crossing the street while talking on the cell phone. How damn stupid is that? What's happening in the world? What's happening? What's going on? I don't understand. Now, it's like this. They're probably thinking of the fact that they can uh, uh, get a lot of money by ticketing all these people because the majority, you got nine out of ten people that's going to be talking on a cell phone. So how are you going to stop everybody? Especially in New York. What if you got 50 people crossing at an intersection and 37 of them have a cell phone to there. You gonna stop all 37 of those? Is that one cop gonna stop all 37 of those and give them a ticket? I think not. Or are you just gonna target one and make an example out of them? And that's not fair. So no, that should never happen. That just should never happen. They can't even, they don't even enforce the laws of, of uh, not texting while you, uh, drive. They don't enforce those. I see it being done all the time. All the time. And somebody probably came up with this brainstorm after seeing the woman fall over into the fountain at the mall from texting and not watching where she was going. It's ridiculous. So, anyway, that's my little rants and raves going on in the outside world today. And, uh, until next time, Bye-bye.